Hi, this is Officer Arya. How are you doing? All right. And these two, they're from DHS, Laura and James. Can we sit and talk for a little while? Okay. What's going on? So, last week you tried to call this so many times. It's regarding your children. Mm -hmm. um, they, need, they need to go back to foster care. No. That's not going to happen. We've been through this, through the system enough times, we know how it works, but the kids are staying with me. Uh, I don't really need anyone to interject on how to be a parent. These are my kids. I've raised them. No one else has been there as long as I had it. These kids are staying with me. Well, do you understand that? Um... I don't think you understand, though. Do you even know my kids' names? I do. Um, they're Tom and Michelle. Yeah, anyone with a report can know that, but these kids are staying with me. Um, we know that you have a really bad history of alcohol and... Uh, yeah, it's not about me, it's about the kids and they're staying so, with me. So, um, we're trying to help your children to be in a um, great shape. I'm doing, great I'm doing fine without any other help. It's not perfect, I'm not perfect, but it's best when the kids are around, and to be a father in the house is enough. I just want to be here for my kids, and no one can take them away from me. Um, that's, I, I think that's why we're here. We need, we need, we need, we need the best for your children. Um, we heard that they're not being raised in a great condition here. So um, that's why they need to return back to the foster care. And what is, how is that going to change? How do I know that they're going to a place that's different or better or has other circumstances? Because all the time I'm hearing about a foster family that's not taking care of the kids. If, it's gonna, if there's something bad that's going to happen, why can't it just be with me? No, we know that they have really, um, they teach the kids their education is better there. They have three me three times meal. Uh, everything is just suitable for them. Um, so I know that you are the father of the kids. Uh, if it's, it sounds rough, it's it's really hard. But it's better for you, for your wife, and for them to be the foster care. Well, I'm not talking to my wife right now, so that's a whole other issue. Uh, with where it's at. I'm raising these kids by myself. She's out of the picture. I don't know where she is, but I'm taking care of the kids right now. They may not have three meals a day, but at least they have a dad that cares about them and wants them here. Can I ask where's, where's your wife? We've gone in some fights recently and she left and um, she's got her own issues. So we both have a lot of issues going on, but uh, it's more stable for me to have the kids. Well, can you tell me what's what kind of issues? We've both had our issues with drugs and alcohol, but I, mean, I can I can show up to work and I can maintain a job, but she really can't maintain a job. So she's staying with her mom, uh, and I'm here with the kids. And I drink a little bit, but it's just getting through the day. Um, where do you work? Uh, I'm a tire technician. I work at a tire shop. So I'm working with cars all day, angry people all day, and then come home and uh, still there for dad. <sighs> well, it sounds pretty rough. Um, again, we, are, we want the best for the children, for the kids. Um, it would be very nice of you if, uh, and then you're gonna visit them there anyway. Um, you can probably visit each day, so I can visit them every day. Yeah, you can visit them every day for sure. Yeah, yeah. I just want to have a full stomach, and most days I can do that, but sometimes I can't. So I know that's why we're here. Yeah. Is this like a long-term thing? Is this what? I mean, if I get back on my feet, 
do I get my kids back or what what goes on from here? Do you know? Has this happened to you? Do you know what what that's like? Well, I think in that case will depend on the uh, DHS. I'm not sure how long they're going to keep them, um, but I will guarantee you that they're going to um, they will be in a good condition there. Do you know who the family's going to be or what's how long they're going to be there, if it's close by, or what kind of school they're going to be in? They're going to go to a school where it's really close to the facility. Um, I met the parents, the parents are really nice, and they have all the kids there. Yeah. Okay. What is, what's the visitation like? Is that something that's uh, weekly or...? It's actually, you can visit them uh, for two hours uh, daily. Yeah. Can they come over to sleep? They can come over, yeah. They can come over, um, probably spend the night with you and your wife, and then back to the foster care. Yeah, my wife's, my wife's out of the picture. I don't know where, what, what's going on. When you say out of the picture, what do you mean? Uh, we've got in a fight, and it's usually around the kids, or our drinking, or not being able to take care of ourselves. But it's just what advice or about everything. I mean, we've been at it for years, but it just hasn't really worked out. And which one? I love her, and the support's been good, but we just haven't been able to get to a good place. And, uh, I don't know. I want to stay together for the kids, but she doesn't really want to be a part of the picture, and uh, I just want a perfect family to get through. But if it's just me, then. Just have to be me, so we're just taking a break right now. Does your wife support you in drinking? She supports drinking. I support drinking, so I mean, I did some AA a while ago, just like after a crisis. But you know, how long it's been that you have become an alcoholic? I mean, it used to be pretty bad, but it's gotten better. I mean, I just drink a little bit. Just Did you go to, to any rehab? Mm, I tried that, but. It, it didn't work. I just felt a lot of shame and it just drilled into me. And I mean, I get I get it, but wrestling with an addiction is just, it's a lot. I can manage with just I a little bit. You know, you know, um, yeah. I'm not like driving or out of control. I just take the edge off of it. So, you know, we all have our little things, but I'm doing okay. Okay. Um, so what do you think? Do you think you should be ready to go back to foster care? I don't want to. They're my kids. And it's been kind of like just me pulling everything together. And, uh, I just want them to be well fed. And I can't always provide that. And I just want to be able to see them. And uh, I want them to know that I'm not perfect, but that I'm doing my best doing the best I can. I love them and I want to be a part of their lives. So if it, um, um, this is like a year thing or what needs to happen, but I just want my kids in a good place and I want them safe and well fed. Okay. Well, they are going to be in a good condition, yeah, for sure. Um, so we're going to take um, are they sleeping right now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're asleep upstairs. Okay. What if we come tomorrow? You pick them in the morning. Because right now they're sleeping, we don't want to wake them up. Okay. Are you going to be okay with that? Or are you going to... I'm okay with it, but I, I hear what you're saying and I can understand uh, what's going on. And it may be better for... All right. Okay, then we will we'll come tomorrow in the morning. Okay. Okay. I'll say goodbye. Uh, where do we go from here? Do I? Uh, how do I know where they're gonna be or can well, I visit them um, anytime or? Or Jim's gonna give you all the information about the facility, okay. um, the timing, and everything. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you. Hey, not too bad. <laughs>